from inside Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay. It's Major League Baseball on a Friday night. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go, showing the slab in today's game. Drew Rasmussen. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. Jace Peterson, the next to hit, takes ball one. Left hand batter waits. Nope. Do it out. There's a strike. Here's a two on. Now one missed. Pitch. That one ripped. And it hits the fence. The relay to second. Not in time. It's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to jump it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Tony Kemp. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Diaz makes the grab, and there's one down. And time now to check out the A's lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Jesus Aguilar in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next pitch is outside. Peterson, the runner at second with one away. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Siri in position. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Oh, the throw is wild. Batting four. The first baseman. So here's Brown at the plate. Brown. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Runner at second, two down. Ball. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open, he can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. The pitch. There's the strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And the righty deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. Yeah. 
in the dirt, blocked, and the runner stays where he is. And that's ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. Now let Miss Diaz now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. First and second, two down. Next offering is fouled back. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. There's the strike. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. In the air, left field, down the line. Into the corner, but foul. And the pitch stays alive. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Two outs, bases full. Digging in for Oakland, Connor Capel. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good eye right there. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. The next pitch misses, and it's 3-0. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. Really got himself into a mess out there, and now forces home a run with the wall. The setting's definitely getting away from him. So two down, striding to the plate now for Oakland. Brent Rooker, outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings through that one, 0-1. Righty delivers, and it's 1-1. One and, one. and that's a pitch early in this game. He needs to call for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. And he deals. Fouls it back with two strikes. Two outs. Bases are full. Swing and a chopper. And he picks it up in foul territory.
swing and a miss, and that is that. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the A's one, the Rays nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and on the hill, James Caprillion. What's the word on him? Last time out, it just seemed like he wasn't trusting his stuff. He fell behind in the count, walked a number of guys. Today, he's got to pitch aggressively, and he's got to pitch inside. Bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Rays, Randy Arozarena. The line of the pitch. Ball one there. Bunting for a hit, he pops it up. Pulls it in, and there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. Already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb. But, yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. Manuel Margo now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Home team down a run as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Into center. And it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can that see good. already, his that bat stays in the zone Yandy. on plane for an extended period of time. Yeah. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Ball in one now. Foul ball. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Kick and deals. Pitch misses there. Two and two. At the belt and fires. Fly ball to right. Capel has this one sized up. Two away. Batting four. The second baseman. Landed. And at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Brandon Lau. Way inside, and that hit him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Now batting Wander Franco. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. 
And that will drop the foul. Deal two. Uh-oh. Back-to-back -back batters hit by a pitch now. Well, he's kind of backed himself into a corner, and I'm sure he's starting to feel the pressure right now. Let's see if he can go down and get out of this one. Harold Ramirez at the dish. And the first offering is not close. Two outs. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. 2-0. That one fouled off. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Next offering is foul back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two-two now. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Langoliers makes the play, and that is that. And the Rays leave him loaded. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. here at Tropicana Field, all set for the start of the inning. Here's Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. The pitch. That's a strike, and that is strike one. Now one and one. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon may be a little bit more hitter-friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. Left field, squeezes it, one away. Good pitch, he just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and Very wasn't done. able to stay closed. The catcher. Next Jay. up for the A's, Shea Langoliers. Langoliers, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Come on down, Tampa. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab, two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. The Had pretty good timing on it. Six. Just got underneath it a little Jace bit and popped it up. Peterson. Now it's Jace Peterson. Doubled in his first A.B. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. And that one wrapped foul. Here's the 0-2. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. He goes down looking. Nothing doing there for the A's, but they hold a 1-0 lead.
bottom of the inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Christian Bethencourt. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. First offering misses the mark. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Swing and a miss. Strike one. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Next one misses, and it's two and one. The wind of the pitch. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Into second base, the tying run is on with a leadoff double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Josh Lowe, next to hit for the Rays. In there, and it's 0-1. Runner leads away at second. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Runner at second, nobody out. Next pitch inside. Gonna count one and two. Oh, two curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. And the pitch. Off the mark there. Two and two. And down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. And now it's Jose Siri. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And it's fouled away. Bethencourt over at second, one down. And one, one and two. Two strikes. That's down and in. Take it deep. And a pitch. And that's outside. Yeah, there's ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting in the chase right there, but with first base open, walked out a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. So the Rays batting order turns over. Now it's Randy and Rosarena. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. One out, runners at first and second. 
Next offering is downstairs. Bitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. towards center. Loriano puts it away, and there's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. Here's Manuel Margot, one for one with a single so far. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the right hander deals. That's inside. Righty to the plate. In for a strike, and that's strike two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. One, two to Margot. That to right. Cable drifts towards it. And that is that. So the Rays strand a pair. They trail here, one nothing. Top half of the third inning. Here's the second baseman, Tony Kemp. Tony Kemp in his sixth season, 31 years old, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2013. Rasmussen back to work. Good eye right there. Rasmussen goes six foot one, 210 pounds, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2018. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two oh. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The 2 1. And that one off the outside edge. There's a strike. The pitch. And he walked him. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Aguilar starting as the designated hitter. Hitting third in the lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. And fouled off. The 0-1. Just missed. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is foul back. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. Let's go, Rays. And now it's filled up. Go 
Got it. One down. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Seth Brown up next for the A's. He reached out a walk his first time. And that one sliced foul. Let's go, Tampa! Strike two. No ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Brown ball to the right side. Dives and he can't hang on. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. As the pitcher brings it in for the out and the runner advances to second. <laughs> Let me Diaz now work to walk in his first trip to the plate. That one's in there on one. Kemp stands at second with two gone. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Man on second, two down. Going to count ball. one and two. Two strikes. And a ball evens the count. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Two-two down. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two outs and one in scoring position. And the next pitch is way outside. Kicks and fires. So now two on and two outs. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. Digging in for Oakland, Connor Capel. Checks his swing. Makes the catch. Inning over. A strand a couple, but they lead it one to nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Down the third baseman. Yandi Diaz. Third baseman. Yandi Diaz. The wind and the pitch. There's a strike. Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Number eight, second baseman, Landon. Lau at the plate, hit by a pitch his first time up. Eight. And that's in there for strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Oh. 
The 0-2. Next offering misses down and away. Two strikes. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And yeah, that's oh, outside. That That hits the dirt, and the count's full. Left-hand batter waits. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. One down. Here's Wander Franco. He was plunked at his first trip to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah. And that one is in for a strike. Well, he left that change up up, got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. And the righty deals. And there's a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Caprillion picks over, oh, Lau dives back in safely. Let's go now. Hey, hey here. And a pitch. Lace down the line, put the extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Here comes Lau, and the tying runs at second base with a double. Tag, and he's out at the play. A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out of the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. And now the first baseman, Harold Ramirez. First pitch, and he just misses. Late swing, fouled off. This one popped up. Kemp makes the play. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for Tampa. They still trail 1-0. Back now in Tampa Bay. Start of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Brent Rooker. Brent Rooker. The right-hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. And another ball. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Next offering is foul back. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone, and for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Loriano in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Ah. 
Next offering is in for a strike. That one hammered left field way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A shot to left. His second of the year. It's 2-0. Thought he could blow a high fastball by it, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. And now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers. Goal for one, popped out foul to the catcher his first time off. This ball's chopped on the ground. Fires over to first. Gets the catcher by a step. The third base is number six, Jace. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jace Peterson, one for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. Out to short. Whips it across. That ends the frame. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run as the A's are on top. Welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Christian Bethencourt. And here it comes. And he takes a strike. On one. Here we go, Tampa. They say you win. Out to short. Throw on to Brown. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, move. we talk about how the ball is coming out of the now pitcher's that, hand. The, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Josh Lowe, next to hit for the Rays. Struck out swinging his first time. Line drive, base hit right field. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second, and he'll reach second with one away. You've got to get on your horse to get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. One out, runner at second. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Runner at second here, one gone. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings yeah. through it. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the 0-2. On the ground at first. Fires to first, and he's out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So two down now, and here is Randy Arozarena. 
And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And he deals. And that one clips the corner. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Runner at third, two away. And looking, huge strikeout there. One hit, one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the A's two, the Rays nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. Digging in for Oakland, Tony Kemp. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. That's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way just to travel like four more. The pitch. Fought off foul. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's one and two. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Luis Patino getting ready to go. Chirinos getting cranked up as well. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Not close with that one. Three and two now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. At the belt and fires. That one lifted to left. And it drops in. And the leadoff man aboard. Up next for Oakland. Just a blue pit behind third hit. right there, and they that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And now, Jesus Aguilar. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kemp. Gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Get the double play. Next the offering misses. One and two to count. Got him swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Next is the speedy first baseman, Seth Brown. He's 0 for 1. Ball. First offering misses the mark. Turn two. 
Righty delivers. Fouled off. He was late. Left hand hitter waits. Camp on the go. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. The one, two, and there's a ball. In the air, right field. Siri sizing it up. Makes the grab after a long run. That is the inning. Yes. No if ends of maybe. Don't let drama phase me. See on my grind heavy for my baby. And welcome back. John Chompy with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Manuel Margot. pitch way upstairs one, one, no one and oh action in the pen down there Hogan Harris the left-hander up and throwing number 38 warming up as well the pitch Whoa. and the one oh misses low That one missed, now three and oh. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. In for a strike, now three and one. That one misses, so a lead off walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Yanni Diaz now. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Had a good eye there. Here goes the runner. Pitch misses. Bro, and they got him. Well, you can get away a little bit with not being so accurate when you've got such a great arm and you get rid of it quickly, and that's what happened right there. He made up for the lack of accuracy with excellent velocity. Nice job with the catch and throw right there. And that one fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. Goes down looking. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. And now it's Brandon Lau. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. First offering misses badly for ball one. That one Two ran balls. inside, almost got him. Two 
The next good. offering misses. Ball three. The wind of the pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. And the 3 1. And now the count filled up three and two. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Luis Patino. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. Patino, 23 years old, and he's a native of Colombia. The pitch. And ball one. Right hander kicks deals. Clips the corner. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And now it's even up. That one missed. Payoff pitch, and that's ball four. Got a good day for the on-base percentage right there. Walk number three, and the free bags keep on coming. You down with OBP, boo? Connor Cable, up next for the A's. Cable, 25 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Colin Poche, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Beeks getting loose as well. Next offering way off the plate. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. 2-0. Diaz, the board here at first with nobody right, out. And the 3 0 finds his own. This to center field. Siri in position. Hauls it in, and there's one away. The left fielder, number 25, Brent Rooker. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the yeah. big league level. In there, and it's 0-1. Brooker measures 6 feet 4 inches, 225 pounds, a former first-round pick back in 2017. The next pitch misses, and now it's even 1-1. One and one. Swings through that one. Two 
Next pitch misses. Two and two. <laughs> Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Now, Loriano comes up to hit. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ball game. Yeah, Boogie. He didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. First offering, misses the mark. That one missing inside. Two up. And downstairs. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. There's a strike. And that got the pitcher. Tosses the first, and Loriano is retired. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. First pitch, not close. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs, two in scored position. In there. And so now one and two. Now two and two. That's a really good take. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. Well, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. Peterson at the plate and takes high there. Next one misses. Now 2 0. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Two outs. And he pumps it a strike. Two and one now. And a foul ball. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll get down for a hit. One run is in. Another comes in to score. And they lead by four. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. So digging in, Tony Kemp. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one.
Two on, two outs. Just missed. That's in there, and it's two and one. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Next offering misses, three balls and a strike. Yeah, there's the strike. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Ripped on a line. He's there. He's got it. And that's the inning. They put two on the board on two base hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Athletics four, the Rays nothing. Well, we go bottom six, and now the shortstop, Wander Franco. And the right hater back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. In the air, right side. Capel drifts towards it. Makes the grab. One down. The batter. The first baseman. Harold. And here's the first baseman. Harold Ramirez. First pitch. Just misses. Now a check swing at the 1-1. Look down to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. That misses the zone. And a count 2-1. And, And a pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. The next offering misses, and it's a full count. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. That one the other way. Capel makes the catch. Out number two. Now batting. Catcher. Christian. Two outs. Base is empty. Christian Bethencourt getting ready to hit. And a foul ball. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. The batter, number 15, designated Here comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. James Caprillion won't go any further tonight, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Hogan Harris gets the ball now. This is his now fifth appearance of the year. Number 78, Hogan 
Harris. Two outs, runner at first. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. In there for strike one. Bethancourt off of first with two away. The next pitch misses. Ball one. Way high. One strike. They say you win. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. That misses. Full count three and two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not oh, start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Domingo Acevedo, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Mole, the power lefty, up as well. And the 1-0. Late on that fastball. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Ooh, nasty changeup right there. Down. Just had him out in front. And the pitch. In the dirt, but kept close. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Kicks and fires. Hit on the ground to the right side. Takes it himself, and that'll do it. So the Rays strand a pair. They're down 4 0. My eyes, heart is empty. Devil of Prada, she turned it in. Feels like a nugget. I need a 10 piece. Let me put dead. This is redemption. Heard what I said. I'm going to finish it. Top of inning number seven. Now the A's designated hitter, Jesus Aguilar. And here it comes. In there at the knees, 0-1. Lifted in the air, right center field. Siri sizing it up, makes the grab on the run, and there's one down. Next for Oakland, the first baseman, Seth Brown. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Seth Brown, for the fourth time tonight. Bounced up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. He decides to eat it, and they can't get the out. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. Man at first with one gone. Oledmis Diaz up next for the A's. He swings and fouls one off. Now moves to first, and he's back in safely. And the right hander deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Let's get the easy two now. Let's go. 
That one off the mark. Yeah, that's ball two. Next offering is foul back. Let's go, Tampa. And down on strikes he goes. Two away down. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. So up next, Connor Capel. On the ground to third. Gets a glove on it in the hole, but goes to second with it, and they get the out. Stay with the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Oakland. They lead 4 nothing. Back here at Tropicana Field, here's a speed threat. Randy Arozarena. Harris, back to work. Going one. Well, an at-bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Next offering in the dirt. One and one. Good eye right there. That one in for a strike, two and two. Next offering is fouled back. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So a man aboard, Manuel Margot up to the plate. That one's in there, 0-1. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. No outs. Runner on second. Slapped foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Third baseman number and three. stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. Diaz. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Just missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. One one now. Ball two. Two ball, one strike. Rip towards third. Throw on to Brown. Two away. Now Brandon Lau next to hit for the Rays. A strikeout and a walk. In there and it's 0-1. On a Rosarena at second with two down.
And now the lefty. And one, one and two. Two strikes. Struck him out swinging. Gassed it right by him. The Rays strand just the one. They trail it here for nothing. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Brent Rooker. And he deals. Nope. That one is upstairs. Activity in the bullpen. Jalen Beeks warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Right-handed reliever. There's a strike. Swings through that one for strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Pitch misses. Ball two. And now it's filled up. Battling here as he fouls it away. They all right. pitch. And he walked him. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Runner on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Save. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the back, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. And he one. Right side. And it gets by him. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Up next to Oakland. The catcher. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. A nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Colin Poche gets the call from the pen. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. So they're at the corners now. And now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers. Pitch misses inside, ball one. That one drifts inside. And 2-0 is in for a strike. And misses inside. Fly ball down the line. Margot pulls it down. Runner tags from third. The throws offline. He's saved. And the lead is up to five. Now here is Jace Peterson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ground ball right side could be two. They get the tag on him over to first, but he beats it.
So digging in, Tony Kemp, one for three. Tony Kemp. In there for strike one. And Poche ready to work. Slider misses outside. the belt and fires swing and a miss struck him out good job at damage control right there a run a hit and a man left last half of the eighth coming up it's the A's five the Rays nothing Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Domingo Acevedo. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Stepping in, Wander Franco. The pitch. That one misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. And that chance handled. The throw to first, and a quick out number one. Now back, first baseman, Harold. And now the first baseman, Harold Ramirez. That one's in there, 0-1. I'm well, impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the hit bat expands. And the righty deals. That one's in there. No balls, two strikes. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Danny Jimenez up and throwing. The wind and the pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. Going oh, two now. One ball, two strikes. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a one-two. Ground ball, left side, and that's just foul. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. That misses, and the count is even, two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bat. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. off again and it remains three and two the why to kick the pitch and there's ball four well that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk very gritty and now the catcher for the Rays Christian Bethencourt First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All one's the count. Ramirez at first, one gone. Come 
They say you win. Oh, and two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Going to count Good one ball. and two. Two strikes. Good eye right there. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. Righty delivers. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Righty to the plate. And there's a ball. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Next offering is foul back. Three, two on the way. Got him looking. That's the second out. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Josh Lowe. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. A strike. Here's the 0-2. That one just misses. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Next pitch is inside. The count now two and two. Two outs. Off the mark there. And the count's full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Left-hand hitter waits. And ball four to a board. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And here is Jose Siri. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And the oh, first pitch misses for ball one. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Foul ball. 
Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. The pitch. Ball. And the one two misses to even the count. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Stays alive. The pitch. Got him looking for the K. Look, to the day I die, I'ma get mine. Going down this road, you can't get tired. Gotta keep things fresh, never go dry. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Here's Oakland's DH, Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. Poche back to work. There's a strike. All ones the count. That one fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. And one, one and two. Two strikes. Next offering is foul back. One, two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Hit connect on the curve ball, struck him out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. The batter now as he swims and misses for strike one. Next offering misses. And the count even one and one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Threw that fastball right by him. Slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Diaz over to pick it up. Two up, two down. Now battle. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Oledmis Diaz. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Inside just missed. Swing and a pop up. Loud. Should have this one. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Offense held a check there. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the ace five. The Rays nothing. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Danny Jimenez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Number 56, Danny Jimenez. 
Here's the Rays' leadoff hitter, Randy Arozarena. Jimenez, 6'1 righty, 29 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. First offering, and it just misses. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. The line of the pitch. Popped up first base side. Kemp settles underneath it and makes the grab. Then there's one down. Manuel Margot now at the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. Capel in position, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there are two down. Next to him, Yandy Diaz. First offering misses the mark. Late swing fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Just missed. And that's outside. Out towards right center field, Capel settles under this one, and that'll do it. The A's take game one of the series on the road. It's always nice to grab the opener of the series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. 5-0 the final in this one. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long from Tampa Bay.